Ahoy, Gamerinos, and welcome back to another episode of the Seashell Devlog. Uh, last week I took a little break, and so I want to preface this devlog with uh, why. Long story short, uh, I've been evaluating my priorities because I've been throwing a lot at myself. I'm feeling much better now, which is fantastic. It is Sunday, March 28th. Uh, I'm about to jump into my mini seashell stand-up with myself, and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm thinking of pushing seashell devlogs to every other week. Doing the seashell work is one thing that I need to work on, but also making the videos like ends up taking time, which I ex fully expected, but it kind of feels weird also releasing such small updates. I had to drop a few things or I had to, you know, take a bunch of things and step back. So for videos, for example, instead of a devlog and a productivity video every week, it's just going to be one a week with a productivity video here and there. That being said, welcome back. I hope you enjoy. My hair is finally short. I just took a shower because I got back from a run. I, I really needed that haircut really badly. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the seashell stand up and then see what I get done this week. All right. <laughs> so here's the board. So I haven't looked at this all week. Wonderful. The last thing I got done was this little proto model guy. On the note of stepping a bunch of things back, seashell development shouldn't take more three to four hours of my week sounds like so little but i with everything i've got going on i think that's a good place to start if it even hits three that being said there's about an hour and a half of work i'd want to do on tuesday and about an hour and a half of work that i would want to do on thursday let's say tuesday let's do the first hour in unreal engine they have some courses on their own site and i keep coming back to courses for better or for worse i guess and then this will this is probably a five just because of time i dude i'm so scared to draw concept art good lord I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant on bringing in too many tasks because I keep bringing in so many getting them done. The goal here, right, with having these mini stand-ups with myself three times a week is to minimize the amount of choice that I have. So Tuesday, when I sit down at 10 a.m., what am I going to do? I'm going to do the first hour in Unreal Engine. Great. I could work on... I'm going to hold off on... We'll do some character design, I guess. Uh... Uh, take a look at CDQ for inspiration. All right, <laughs> so Tuesday, first down on real girl concept art. I'm gonna go put that on my to-do list for the Tuesday seashell task, and uh, hopefully I will see you then. All right, so I'm doing some room organization while I have the first hour up. This is recorded just so I have something for the devlog, I guess. Not sure what I hope to gain out of this, but uh, during tutoring tonight, I might do some tech stuff. I wanna turn an old Asus Rogue laptop that I have into a media server this summer, so I'm just like making space for it, I guess. Although I might move somewhere, but we'll see. Anyway, let me hit play, use my hour before tutoring finishes, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so it feels weird recording. I didn't have much to clean. I gotta bring some boxes down, but that's pretty much it. This is all I needed. I think I put too much emphasis on the Udemy courses. This is just layouts, hotkeys. I can press F to focus, F11 for immersive mode, the more you know. I think I'm just also really hesitant on just jumping out of the code and I, I need to just jump in. Um, is this a crack or a hair? Oh, thank God. Yeah, I think during tutoring, I got a new laptop because mine, my Surface Book, two and a half years old now, this bad boy, crashes randomly. And the best thing, best conclusion I've come to is SSD failure. And so I figure I don't spend much. I've got a lot of money saved up. I've got income now from tutoring. So new laptop, MSI Creator 15. Not like some gaming laptop or anything. Meant for creators, much better hardware. Excited to set it up. Turn my Surface Book into like a mini drawing studio. The detachment has issues. Anyway, that's just, that's just more of a side note, but uh, you might see a different laptop in future videos if you've noticed at all that I have a silver Surface Book. Okay, I'm gonna bring these boxes downstairs. I could probably make a whole video and maybe I will about uh, the differences, uh, Udemy courses or crowdsource courses versus the ones by people. I remember the Unity ones were so good. I'm not sure why I didn't check Unreal's in the first place. This is pretty much all I needed though. The next thing I need is actual assets. So maybe during tutoring, I'll also work on the character concept art. This is my goal for now. I just, I can't sit there and watch it. I need something else to do. So I have a mess of wires over here, but otherwise my room is pretty clean. Yeah, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> Whatever clip comes next, see you then. Okay, Game Arenos. Um, we're putting the devlog on pause. <laughs> I gotta do it. It's been a decently mentally taxing week and I don't see it getting any better. Well, I see it getting better, but like, no way can I keep up Seashell right now. The, the, the catalyst for the, for not doing this, for putting a pause on Seashell right now is because I don't feel adequate with my character drawings. I'll get to those in a second. I actually did some. I kind of touched upon this in a, in a past devlog about how it was a learning log, and I think I need it to keep being a learning log, but I don't want to upload a learning log. 
So my another catalyst was that for my agile class, there's a lot of time going into that and I want to put in more time to that. I want to commit more time. But if I'm getting to Unreal Development, I cannot do development for both things. They're just too similar in terms of devel development time and working on a project. But that doesn't mean I'm going to not work on Seashell. I still want to work on it as time goes. I mean, you, you've seen the Trello board, the tasks I know I want to do. I, I turned my uh, service book into a drawing tablet of sorts. This was the start of my Seashell. I don't even want to show it. <laughs> it's just bad. What I will show though is my Carlos sketches. So I started off by drawing a bunch of little Carloses. We gave a few different ones a shot. <laughs> I feel so official drawing on the Surface Book because it's like digital art, but yeah, I just created some thumbnail sketches and you know what? I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep iterating on Seashell, but I'm also gonna mainly focus on learning for the next few months. By a few months, I mean April and May because that's school. I made a list called Learning Endeavors and Currently Learning. This is gonna be temporary just for while I quote unquote learn. And by learn, I'm really glad that I started Seashell in the way that I did. I just, A, weekly devlogs are not gonna be sustainable because there's not gonna be much to them. I just can't get that much done for seashell because of where I feel I'm at. So I know where I need to be. That's all I'm trying to say. Obviously those skills don't have to be perfect, but I need to have more direction. We'll see, maybe make like a small typing game in the next month or so that, you know, very, a lot more straightforward than a whole video game. Doing my intro to game design class, getting that pitch done was the most important thing I think I could have done. And I'm super thankful for the class and how it required that of me. And I just need to step it back on the project commitments I have so I can put more time into some other things. You'll see, still be seeing weekly videos from me on this channel. That's my full intention at least weekly videos for productivity and whatever, but you won't see another devlog until like the early summer probably. And when I get there, the thing I should be accountable for is uh, finishing these learning endeavors. And I want to, I fully intend to come equipped with concept art because I need to get off the ground running. So I'm gonna practice my art skills and take essentially the time I would dedicate to Seashell and put it towards working on art probably. And then once my school, actually, my classes actually end, I think that can be the main thing of devlog of working in Unreal because after doing enough JavaScript, even though it's React, Express, whatever frameworks they are, it's just kind of like, I don't want to be doing a bunch of C++ code. And I want to be putting more time into this, but I simply can't make the time for it. That being said, all in all, I'm going to be learning. And by learning, I mean practicing. I'm not going to be learning, I'm going to be practicing. That's what I needed to say. I will be practicing in the coming months on my art skills, maybe reading up on some more game design, but I just need to take Seashell out. And especially the devlogs, take those out. Cause they, you know, it's Friday, 5, 10 PM. It's been a very, very stressful day. Yeah. So for today's whiteboard philosophy, there was a thing I saw on Instagram and it was, we are who we are because of consequences. In fact, we can't live without them. I'm gonna leave that out there for food for thought for you. And then there's balancing what you want to do with what you have to do. This is a quote from Generator Rex. I was watching an episode of that for a little nostalgia. You, you have to balance is the key here. I've always thought, oh, I gotta do what I wanna do and what I have to do, but you have to balance them. You still can't do too much of what you wanna do because you'll find yourself in a situation where I'm at right now. Doing too much of what you wanna do and then you don't actually get to do a lot of those things in detail. And then the last one is self-discipline isn't about getting it done. It's about having the days you wish to. And I actually wanna make a whole video on this idea. It makes sense. Self-discipline isn't about, or at least I don't, you know, I thought about this mindset and I was like, oh, this makes a lot of sense. It's not about uh, forcing yourself to sit down and do this thing because you want to do it. It's not about sitting down and drawing out some thumbnails for a, a fictional crab character because you feel you have to do it. It's sitting down because it's it's allowing you to do something you wish to do. That doesn't make any sense probably, but you know, getting your homework done on time allows you to have a free weekend without any stress, right? It's not about getting your homework done. It's about doing what you have to do in order to do what you want to do. And when it comes to doing those things, you have to balance them. So that's how today's whiteboard philosophy weaves together. But yeah, damn, kind of sucks, but I I, this is something I need to do. And hey, worst case, I bring the devlog back early, but I just know that if I didn't do this, I'd have to make it every two weeks and that would still be something I can't focus on right now. I am going to go and write out the videos planned for April. I need to get this edited before tutoring. It's a short devlog, isn't it? Technically. And um, I will try to return to my old schedule of Monday or Tuesday morning. So keep an eye out for those and you know, keep working on what you're working on. I know that I'm gonna keep making videos. I know the whole, you know, big part of this devlog was to keep each other accountable. If you ever see me upload a video, just do a little mental check-in with yourself of like, am I doing what I would want to be accountable for? And you can always join the Discord down below. I will be posting there still of my accountability updates as other people have been. While these videos might not be weekly anymore and you won't see them for a while, these specifically these devlogs, I'll still be working on other things and you can keep in touch with me on the Discord and here on the channel. That's enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching. This devlog was great. I just, I can't, I can't keep uploading a learning log. That's not what I want this to become. Can't wait to see how 
how much I've learned in the next, you know, how much I've practiced. I want to come to the next devlog and be like, these are the three sketchbooks I've filmed. Here are all the practice drawings I've done on Udemy. Here are all the courses I've done on Unreal Sight. Here are the characters' concepts for these things. I still want to work on Seashell, but spike it all, practice it all, not actually do any development quite yet. That's what the devlog should be practicing and learning is Unreal. Everything else, I think I can do before then, or at least set myself in a good pace. I'm not going to become a master artist in two months. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support throughout this series. Again, I will be keeping up the weekly content for productivity and typing and such, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for bearing with me on my ramble. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you when I see you.